Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Green Trent. Today is Mini Monday Madness, and today's Mini Monday Madness, we're painting little vignettes. Yes. Okay, we're gonna start by going over supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It is three inch by three inches. I have two of them actually. I'm gonna do two things today. I'm gonna work with just simple colors. I have Peacock Blue, Conacridone Magenta, Van Dyke Brown, Cabin Yellow Deep. I might throw in a Viridian Green hue too also, but we'll start with that. I just sketched in this little simple, like a house right there in the middle. And on the second one, you can see like the little bumps for like where the mountains would go. It's a little practice mountain too, see? How cute, yay. <laughs> so uh, a vignette, a vignette is, um, you know, just a simple, it's not a silhouette, it's just you're focusing on one subject and you're not paying everything in the background or everything that goes around and you're just focusing on like the house, maybe what's around it. And then, you know, like the mountains and kind of like, a, like a, just a little piece of the area. And they're fun to do and that's like a nice design to have and a nice way to break up your, you know, composition and, and whatnot. So I'm going to grab my Princeton number no. eight Neptune brush. It has a nice little, it's a little shorter brush and it's a cute little tip and a good size belly. So, if, you know, we're doing a small painting. Um, it works great. I got my water jars up here and my paper towel, of course, over here. Well, we're going to work on the hut. I'm going to make the roof and then this magenta is pretty bright. So we'll tone it down with some of this Van Dyke Brown. And I'm actually gonna grab some of the yellow. <laughs> Excuse me while I mix this up. So you're just using a few colors, you can make that, see that yellow with that magenta made it red. I want a red roof. I'm gonna fill it wet. So I'm gonna just put, wash in this red roof, as you can see here. Wet on dry. I might water my brush down a little bit. There we go. Put some water in it. Just water it down just a bit. Grab this Van Dyke Brown. I'm gonna water this down just a little bit. Still have the red from my brush. I'll try and get rid of that. Might add a little bit of the yellow to it. Get a little golden color. And I'll put that color, wash it underneath a little, the side of the hut or whatever, the house. Looking too golden, I'm gonna add some more brown. A little bit magenta, a little peacock blue. And that's more grayish brown. Play around with it. I'm gonna put some brown in here. I'll just have that bleed. Now I'm gonna go grab some Viridian Green. With the deep yellow. So it's like this bright green. And with the Viridian Green. And a little Van Dyke Brown, just to tone it down a bit. I'm just gonna wash in. See, I'm taking the belly of my brush, just pushing it in, washing it in, pulling it back. Grab a little more of this bright yellow. Whoops. Clean that off my brush. Just want a little bit, <laughs> not that much. Make it a little bit brighter. I'm just gonna take some of this green out and add some more yellow. I wanted it fairly bright. Okay, and there we go. We're just doing a little vignette like this. And we could add some darker tones of green, like some brown in here, peacock blue, brown, a little more brown. And just take your tip of your brush and just see how I'm just moving it just like this and just adding little marks. Just little teeny marks here and there. 
Okay, coming up the brush. I'm gonna add some trees in the back. So I'll take this loose green that I have mixed up. And I'm gonna put, just I'm making these little marks. I'm pushing down, I'm pulling up. Just these little sporadic marks. I'll add some of this brown. Maybe a little of the blue. Dab it in like that. Grab that brown. Grab some more green. I'm just making these little marks like this so it looks like this wild tree. And some foliage down here. And some brown. Over in here. And we can put tree marks with the brown with the tip. See? Little tree branches. Just to indicate some tree branches. And some over in here. Put some greenery up there too. So we got a couple of trees. Right over this house. And then I'll add in some more greens, just like bring them down here a little bit. Clean up the brush. Grab more of this yellow. And just push it down right down here. You can add in little flowers if you want also. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Now we're gonna add a wash of like brownish, kind of like a, take the brown that we had over here and add a little of the peacock blue. We're gonna try and make a gray. It's looking too green. I'm gonna add some of this magenta, just to tap it in. You can just, sim just simple colors and you can make Brownish gray. There we go. I'm just gonna put this in very lightly. Over in here, in the front, and then we're gonna add right out of the tube. I'm gonna grab some more Van Dyke brown, by the way. And I'll put it over here and I'll mix some blue with that. I'm trying to get more of a black. So I'll take the peacock blue with the Van Dyke brown, a little of the magenta, more peacock blue. And then you see it's really dark brown. I'm just going to hit the inside edge here and a little bit of the other one, just a teeny bit. Going to go underneath here. And put a couple windows. A window here and a window here. Grab more of that peacock blue and make a gray with that brown. You can see that up there. And I'll just bleed, I'll just tap in a little bit. I'm just pushing the paint around a little bit so you can see the shadow. Now here I'm going to get a little more detailed. I've got to use my tip of my brush and that edge. I'll just put it down a little bit. That top here. And we could put a door in. We don't have to put a door in. I'm going to grab some of this paint, put a little door in. Just a little bit, and I'm gonna put a little shadow on the inside, coming down a little bit. And on the edge. 
And I'll get this door a little darker. Not too dark. And then that roof is kind of washed out, so I'm going to add some of this brown with this red. And like do these little things, like it's almost like it's a. You see the uh, tiles of the roof. Or you could just go in like this and fill in the red, the red brown. Make things simple. You know, that's really easy. And you can go back in and add some detail. So now that it's kind of drying over here, I'll take this blue with that Van Dyke green and a little bit of brown. I just tap in some darker foliage that we started to do. And a little bit here. And like I said, you could add some little flowers. A little bit darker over in here. And there's a little vignette. Right? It's cute. You can add a little more dark green. Grab some of this yellow up in here, closer towards the house. Just add some leaves. And that window, so I'm getting the brown, mixing all these colors to get like a brownish black. A little darker, those windows. Look how cute that is. Again, you can go in, clean up my brush, and just tap in. If you want to tap in some pretty little flowers, I'm going to take that magenta I have, tone it down a bit with the red that I already mixed in here, and just tap in some little pretty pink flowers. And you have a cute little vignette. If you want to do more details with like, um, you know, the door or the, or the roof, you can do that. I might add a little bit of foliage over here. Just to brighten it up a little bit more. Play around with all these colors, by the way. Don't have to do the same colors as me. You have greens, you have reds, you have blues. Grab some of this yellow. And there's one vignette. Really cute, right? Moving on to the mountain vignette kind of messy here but we can we can work with all our mess so we have the peacock blue with all that brown in there which dulls it down a little bit got a pinch of magenta and then we have this grayish blue but you know mix whatever purplish grayish blue you can mix so we're gonna put the first layer of the mountains in get it pretty watery and you see I have the little bumps I put in here Gonna wash this in. Get a little bit wet. Gonna wash in this color. Just little bumps for mountains, and then wash it down this way. See, I put some water down here, and I kind of blend it down here. Now, at this point, this is a little more blue than I wanted, a little more purple. So you want to add a little more magenta to get a little purple. I'll add some of that color in here. I want like a purplish mountain. There we go. Now, while that's drying a bit, we can add in the trees. 
So we get this viridian green here, Van Dyke Brown. You want it thicker, not too wet when you're working on wet on wet kind of situation because that way it's not going to bleed as much. So I'm making this a dark green color and it's really concentrated, just minimal water, just enough, just enough to move it around. And we'll point our tree, see, it won't bleed as much. Can add some more of that Van Dyke Brown, the green green. So we'll just do a line down, as you can see, and we just do these little back and forth lines across to create the pine trees. Another one down, right here. Do do. See, so moving back and forth with the brush. I'm gonna add a little more brown. So it will kind of bleed, but it won't bleed so much because it's not super wet. That's the beauty. So you're working dry on wet. Well, no, it was, excuse me. You're working wet on damp. So we add those trees in. Put another one in here. Because those mountains are still damp. We got those three nice dark green trees. Again, we're gonna clean off our brush. I'm gonna grab that deep yellow. I'm gonna mix up some bright limeish green yellow. Fairly wet. See it's fairly wet. And then we're going to wash that right under here, and push it across. Up in here too. That's going to bleed nicely because it's pretty wet. While it's clean up your brush and go under here and push some just plain old paint, I mean water underneath it. See that kind of bleeds it. While that's doing that, grab some of that dark green you had before and just tap in, going across here for more foliage. Grab some of that Van Dyke Brown, right in there. And you can tap in some more here. This tree lost its top a little bit, so we're going to just go back in and add that. Make this one a little taller. And add the foliage back in. All right. Again, you do these little marks going across. You clean off your brush and add actual Van Dyke brown marks going across. A little wet, not too wet. See, some of mine were bleeding too much. Go back in here. Add some more of that bright green. Kind of lost some of our green, huh? Going to go wrap some of that yellow. And throw that bright green back in here. Play around with this one. This is just like simple fun. And like down the bottom, you can add some bright colors. Like here, I'm going to grab some of this magenta that's mixed in with the red, the shallow. Um, get a creamy texture, not super wet. I always dab it in paper towel to see. And just throw in some color. See? Just dab it in there. You can actually throw in some yellow. You know, mix the yellow with the magenta to get an orange. Throw that in. Play around the color. You can go back in and add another layer of the mountain too. I know usually you would wait for the mountain to dry, add a layer, and then do it again. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a rebel. So I'm going to grab that same color, magenta with the peacock, a little purplish. And I'm going to go in here and add another mountain layer.
yeah have fun with this get a little bit darker and we get the other layer of the mountain and this is still kind of a little wet I'm gonna go across here some green color dab in some trees no Van Dyke Brown. Take some of that bright green, put it in here a little bit. But this is just a simple little vignette, mountain vignette. When this dries, you can go in and add little wisps, you know, foliage wisps. Put a few markings over in here. Play around with it. This is an easier one than the first one, but they're both pretty, pretty easy. And you have your vignette. Vignette number one. Vignette number two. Like I said, go back in. This, you know, if you want to put some clouds, you can do that. Go back in if you want to add a few more trees. I might play around with um, the trees a bit. I might feel like they're not tall enough. You know, and adding a little more foliage. Just to make your life crazy. <laughs> but this is like what I'm saying. Those little vignettes are cute, right? They're fun to do. Very simple. I mean, this one was a little further down, so you could have wrote something nice up here. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial of the vignettes for Mini Monday Madness. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. It's in the description box and on my About page. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.